Today, we are going to talk about Marie Antoinette. She is such a fascinating character that is portrayed in many different lights. Some people see her as a leader who didn't care about her starving people. And some people see her as a leader so separated from her people that she wasn't aware of how hard life was for the people of France. Today, we are going to talk about her true story. Marie Antoinette was born on November 2nd, 1755 in Vienna, Austria. She was married when she was 14 years old to the Dauphin Louis on May 16, 1770. Louis was the grandson of King Louis XV of France. They were married to create an alliance between France and Austria. However, their marriage was not a good one and they did not spend a lot of time together. But she is known to be fond of Louis XVI. Because of this, Marie Antoinette had a close group of friends that she spent a lot of her time with. Her best friend was Princess de Limbal. Her husband became king in May 1774 when he was just 19 and she was 18. They were very young to be ruling a country and France already had many financial issues that were thrust upon them. Marie and Louis's first child was born four years after Louis became king in 1778. Their first child was a girl and they named her Marie Therese. The heir to the throne, the Dauphin, was born in 1781. His name was Louis Joseph. Marie Antoinette loved her children very much and enjoyed being a mother, although there were strict rules that prevented her from taking care of their day-to-day -day needs. She was given a second home called Petite Trianon by Louis, which was a small chateau where she would take her children. She loved it there, especially because she got away from the growing unease among the French people and how unlike her and her husband were becoming. This second life was a lot more simple and she got to spend more time with her children. However, it was very expensive for her to have both of these lives. Marie loved art, fashion, and lived an extravagant lifestyle. She spent money excessively on her lifestyle and this caused many people in her country to dislike her. Some even placed more blame on her for the crisis in France than their king. The truth is that Marie Antoinette had little interest or responsibility in politics. Most of the ruling decisions were made by her husband, King Louis. The French Revolution technically began in 1787. The country was in financial strain because of their support of the American Revolution, and the matter was not helped by Louis and Marie Antoinette's excessive spending on their lifestyle that never ceased even as their people didn't have enough food to eat. It was rumored that Marie Antoinette just said, let them eat cake, when talking about the people of France. Even though this was never proven, rumors such as this caused outrage among the people. During all of this unrest, her young daughter, Sophie, died when she was less than a year old. Then, in 1789, the heir to the throne, Louis Joseph, died when he was just seven years old, breaking the hearts of both Marie and Louis. They believe that he died from tuberculosis of the spine. The storming of the Bastille happened a few weeks after his death. At the end of the year, in 1789, their family was taken from Versailles and imprisoned in Paris. All of their escape attempts were thwarted. Louis XVI was executed in January 1793. Marie was separated from her children and kept imprisoned. Louis Charles, Marie's son, was kept in horrible conditions and underfed. He was abused physically and mentally by his jailers. He was even forced to testify that his mother had abused him, which was strongly denied by Marie Antoinette. Marie had a two-day trial and was found guilty of crimes against the state and was sentenced to execution. On October 16, 1793, Marie Antoinette was beheaded. Her last words were, Pardon me, sir. I meant not to do it. She was apologizing to her executioner for stepping on his toes. She also composed a letter that was read at her execution that stated, I was a queen, and you took away my crown, a wife, and you killed my husband, a mother, and you took my children away from me. All I have left is my blood. Take it, but do not make me suffer long. She was just 37 years old when she died. Her son, Louis Charles, died when he was just 10 years old in June 1795. They believe that the cause was tuberculosis that was made worse by how badly he was treated. A physician smuggled his heart out of the prison and it was passed to royal relations for a century before it was buried beside his parents' graves in Paris in the 20th century. Her daughter, Marie Therese, was kept in prison until she was 16 years old. 
She was released at the end of the Reign of Terror in December 1795 and was initially sent to live in Austria. In 1799, her uncle insisted upon her marrying his heir, Louis, which was her first cousin. They were very unhappy together and never consummated their marriage. In 1830, her husband became King Louis XIX when his father abdicated the throne during the 1830s revolution, and she became queen. They were king and queen for less than half an hour when her husband abdicated the throne. She died at the age of 72 in October 1851, spending her last years in exile living among different royal courts. She was buried in what is now Slovenia next to her husband. Thanks for listening. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.